Hey, I'm Alice. And I'm Jack. And in this video, we are bringing you part two of our review of Busch Gardens Williamsburg's Christmas Celebration. Now, if you missed part one, we're gonna put the link in the description for you. You definitely wanna check that out. In that video, we reviewed the decorations and talked about some of our experiences as well as which rides were open. So don't miss part one. But in this video, we wanted to tell you all about the shops and the food that we tried. We're gonna start out in the Emporium. This is the main gift shop near the entrance, right as you enter. Of course, all the lands in Bush Gardens are themed to European countries, so this is England, the first country as you go through the gates. A lot of different snow globe items to choose from, including some themed to a television set shaped like a train. They've got some shaped like Christmas trees, snowmen, a trailer. So a lot of cool Christmas decor you can purchase for your home here. All the shops were really well decorated for Christmas. They went all out, even decorating the stores. There are Christmas ornaments all over the park. There are Christmas mugs, Christmas frames. These are all themed to Christmas Town, which is the normal annual Busch Gardens Christmas event. But because this is limited capacity, they don't have the whole park open. They didn't use that name. Although I understand Busch Gardens Tampa is still having Christmas Town this year. They have a cool selection of Christmas t-shirts that we actually thought were really cool. Great designs. I'm not sure why they don't have long sleeves. We didn't see any sweatshirts or long sleeve shirts, which would be good for the winter. A lot of people were buying these peppermint necklaces. They light up and people were walking through the parks with those. It's a wide selection of winter themed plushes available for purchase. Those were very popular as well. One of the most popular items this year only, hopefully, is the Christmas masks. So they have snowflake designs, Christmas lights, snowman face designs, lots to choose from. As well as a selection of Christmas hats. A lot of these light up, so pretty cool designs here as well. The store is also the starting point of the gingerbread scavenger hunt that the park is doing for children. Another popular shop is this candy shop in England. Lots of really good treats can be found here. They had a wide assortment of fudge and everything is made right here on the premises. So lots of holiday flavors of fudge, some candied apples. They even had a whole case of fresh baked donuts that you could get here. And then lots of candy, lots of chocolate treats. So this was a really fun stop for a lot of people. And then they also have some name brand candies. If you're looking for just a prepackaged snack, you could get that as well, some candy bars. But this was a good stop on your way to the other areas of the park. One thing I thought was cool here in England, uh, their Christmas Town event most years has a musical that is based on Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. Here's Fezziwig's Warehouse, named after a character from the book, and Dickens' Tavern, of course, named after the author. Of course, in this park, one of kids' favorite areas is the Sesame Street area, Forest of Fun. And here you see one of the shops in England had a ton of Sesame Street Christmas merchandise. They had Christmas ornaments, books, decorations, a snow globe. They also had some clothing, and this was in England, as I mentioned, but there is also another shop in the Sesame Street area itself that had some other offerings, lots of sweatshirts, t-shirts, hats. So if you're a Sesame Street fan like I am, you definitely want to check out these two shops. Here's some footage from Tweedside Gifts. This is the gift shop right next to the entrance to the train ride through darkness. And this had a lot to choose from as well. Had some Christmas decor for your home, as well as a lot of different Christmas ornaments to choose from. One thing I really liked about this shop was their window display. They had some carolers set up in the windows that looked a lot like a department store display you might have seen in years gone by at the holidays. So normally the Christmas Town event has a lot of musical shows that happen in theaters, both indoor and outdoor. 
course, those weren't happening this year due to COVID, but they did have some musical performers. So here is an acoustic guitarist in New France who was playing Christmas music, and they had a lot of these sprinkled throughout the park, so that was a nice touch. And then also in New France, here is one of the stores with Christmas merchandise. This was probably one of my favorite stores. I love the decor here. They had a lot of things for your home, a lot of things that looked kind of handmade. It has sort of a country theme or country look. I can envision these in a cute log cabin somewhere. So just lots of great stuff in this store. And you may remember, if you grew up when I did, my mom, grandmother, aunts, everyone had these ceramic or porcelain trees. Um, I actually have one that my mom made in a ceramics class long, long ago. They had ornaments of the trees, so little miniature versions, and then they had the full-size versions as well that light up. So a nice bit of nostalgia there. They also had mugs, they had some other um, Christmas kitchenware. I liked these cute little reindeer and I love snowmen, so all of this stuff was right up my alley. Really cute stuff. And this was something I had not seen before. These were shutters that were painted to look like Santa Claus and various other scenes. Here you see a snowman. Thought that was a really clever idea. New France had several stores that we went into. Here's another one. There wasn't much Christmassy in this store, but there was a little bit. And these bears are part of the normal store decor. They threw some Santa hats on them. And here's a fireplace. It, of course, is year-round in the store that they have decorated for Christmas. And they have some Christmas items nearby for sale as well. And outside the shops, you see they were using various different colored Christmas tree lights in New France. They've even decorated this bear outside of an art gallery. And also in New France is this store. This is Caribou Pottery. Now one of the things I loved about this store is that you can dip your own candles. So they have these wax figures, dogs, elephants, a Santa Claus, or just regular candles, and then all the different colors of wax that you can dip it in, like yellow, red, blue. I've seen this before in places like Gatlinburg, Smoky Mountains, so that's always something really fun if you wanna take home a candle as a souvenir. They also had paint your own pottery within this store. And for this Christmas celebration, this family portrait studio is also open. Uh, usually you go in and can take old-timey pictures with your family. For this event, they had a sleigh along with the snow scene with a backdrop. You could get your picture taken. It would make a nice Christmas card. In Ireland, they had another musical group performing. This was a trio performing Christmas songs. They were really good. We'll include some footage of their actual songs at the end of this video, so stay tuned to hear them perform. And also in the Ireland section, they had this nice fireplace area set up outside. It did start to get cold as the night wore on, even though it's not too cold yet in November in Virginia. It was getting chilly, so it was nice to be able to stand by the fire for a moment and warm up. So they also have some fun meet and greets here for kids. Over in France, you could meet Frosty the Snowman, though you may want to warn your kids, it is a contactless meeting. We saw some kids run up and want to give him a hug, and of course they were shooed away because of COVID. So it's hard for kids to contain their excitement, but you could get pictures from a safe distance. It's the same thing with Santa and Mrs. Claus. They had Santa's workshop where kids could go in and get a socially distanced photo with them as well. And here in Oktoberfest, one of the Germany themed sections, they have these carnival games open. And in addition to the normal prizes you can win, they had a lot of Christmas themed prizes, uh, gingerbread men, candy cane plushes, uh, lots of cool stuff to win at these games. So the place we're gonna take you now is Fest House in Oktoberfest. 
it is one of our favorite restaurants in the whole park and it has not been opened during the other recent limited capacity events we've attended when we've traveled up to Busch Gardens in Williamsburg. This is both a restaurant as well as a theater. There's a stage in the middle and usually at Christmas Town there's a big production with singers and dancers and snowmen and reindeer come out and dance as well. This year, they've cut way back on all the entertainers, obviously, due to COVID concerns. There was a person on stage playing Christmas music on the piano. He was very good. It was just a really nice ambiance here. They had good Christmas decorations throughout the room. And this very talented pianist playing a lot of Christmas favorites. So it was a good atmosphere to enjoy dinner in. So the food here was also good. Now there was a bit of a line to get in because they are trying to spread out the tables and only let so many people in at once. So we did probably wait 20 minutes or so to get in and get a table. And then here you can see the menu. Um, they had some full entrees, roasted sirloin sandwich, Christmas turkey dinner, they had a sausage sampler, and then they also had salads, they had pizza, some kids meals, some soup. So this was a really nice variety. And you just walk through the line and they serve you the things that you want. So we didn't try their salads, but they looked delicious. And then they had a wide array of desserts, which we did end up picking up one, the pumpkin cheesecake. And actually, I don't know if I was just really hungry because this was late in the event, but all of the food looked really amazing. I could have picked up a bit of everything, but we actually decided to try the Christmas turkey dinner. So this came with turkey, mashed potatoes, gravy, and an assortment of vegetables that was green beans and carrots. And we both thought it was really good. It was a really nice sized portion. The meat was not dry at all. Everything was just really flavorful and very festive. It was a great way to kick off the holiday season. They also had a couple soups and I decided to try their potato soup. They top it with bacon and it was really good. Now I am used to having some shredded cheese on top of potato soup, especially if it's advertised as loaded potato soup. They didn't seem to have any cheese, but this was still really good. It was a little thinner than what I'm used to, but it still tasted really good. I don't think there's too much you can do to mess up potato soup. I love potatoes in just about any form. And as I mentioned, we chose the pumpkin cheesecake. It was drizzled with a caramel sauce, and this was the perfect dessert. It reminds you of fall, Thanksgiving, Christmas. It wasn't too heavy or too sweet. We actually split a piece, but it was just the right amount and really flavorful. So at the far end of Fest House, away from the tables, is Ornament World, a gift shop featuring mostly Christmas merchandise, including a lot of Christmas ornaments. Some of this was stuff we saw in the other gift shops throughout the park as well. Again, a lot of Christmas town theming. And a number of ornaments to choose from. Just to give you an idea, the ornaments were all running around $13. Some were a little less, some were a little more, but that seemed to be the average price. Of course, we love collecting ornaments as we go throughout our travels, so our Christmas tree reminds us of our trips throughout the year. And this is a good place to pick up some ornaments to commemorate your visit to the Christmas celebration at Busch Gardens. And on the way out of the park in France, we decided to try a couple of their specialty cocktails that were featured for this event. They were both served warm. I had the apple pie and Jack had the after dinner mint. These were both really good. Mine tasted like a hot apple cider and I tasted his, it was more like a peppermint hot chocolate. I could only taste a little bit of alcohol, but those are the kind of drinks that can get you in trouble because you wanna drink more and more of them. They were both $9.49. So that's it for highlights from our visit to Busch Gardens Williamsburg's Christmas celebration. We really enjoyed this event, and if you live within reasonable driving distance, uh, we definitely suggest you check it out. This event is going to be held weekends in November and most days in December. 
all the way through the first weekend in January. A lot of days will have both a daytime and a nighttime event. We suggest going to the nighttime one if you can get tickets. Obviously the Christmas lights look a lot better at night, but I'm sure it's cool during the daytime as well. Ticket prices depend on which time slot and which day you attend. Tickets start at about $39.99, but at some of the more popular dates to attend, for instance weekends right near Christmas, uh, tickets go up to about $75 per person. Yeah, I agree. I would say definitely check it out. This was a good time and a nice way to kick off the holiday season. If you liked this video, I hope that you'll hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And if you've visited this event or if you've gone to Christmas Town in the past, let us know about your experience in the comments. What are your favorite parts? And we'll see you the next time. We're traveling through. This is Christ the King, who shall